This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on the Computer Science 2 course, the Python version, and I am on level 21, stillness in motion. Obviously, something bad happened here. All right, let's see. You, uh, you can put one if statement within another. Yes, this is called nesting our ifs. Be careful how the if statements interact with each other. Make sure the indention is correct, right? Because in Python, indention super matters. If it is not under the if statement like this, it won't work. It's helpful to start with one of the outer ifs. All right, so let's see. Create the distance. So first off, let's see what's happening. There's our wall true loop. Remember, loops repeat over and over, so everything indented is inside of that. We made this variable enemy. Now, what does enemy equal? Well, enemy is set to be equal to hero find nearest enemy. So what we're saying there is, hey, hero, look around, find the nearest enemy, and name that enemy, well, enemy, okay? And then if enemy, because if our hero looked around and saw no one, enemy would equal no one. So now we're asking the computer, if enemy, if the enemy exists, true, run the stuff inside of here, All right? If not, it would drop below, run the else, and then loop again. Let's see. Create a distance variable with distance2. Distance2. Okay, and now we have this new variable we made. So if the enemy exists, it drops down. It's going to run the code inside of our ta if statement that's indented over. If the enemy exists, we made this new variable now. Distance, our hero is going to look around. Uh, target. Oh, target. Is there anything called target? Our hero is not going to find a target. What we want is a distance to an enemy. So, if the distance to the enemy is less than 5. Alright, so now we need another if. So we're going to check if distance less than 5, colon, what are we going to do? Attack. Okay, that would make sense. So the only way we're going to attack is first our hero looks around, and if our hero sees an enemy, enemy will equal that enemy. Otherwise, enemy equals nothing. We ask the computer, does enemy equal something? If true, we're going to drop down. We're going to say make distance. What's the distance to the enemy? Then if, if distance is less than 5, is the enemy close? Well, if so, drop down and attack. If this is false, it will skip over it. Right, the code inside of the else, oh, and run the else statement automatically. Else, if the enemy is far away, then shield. Okay, oh, I don't need that line. Pass, do we need anything here? Nope, all right, let's uh, test it out. But uh so here's what I had. Now, if you're just copying down my code right now, you're doomed. Like you're not gonna understand this. It's gonna get so hard in logic, it's gonna be bad. Don't do that. So if you're just trying to copy it down, go back, watch my watch this video, all right? Listen to what I'm saying. If it doesn't make sense, go back a few levels. You wanna be able to understand this. Coding's the future. And you'll be able to do so much with it, even if you don't trust me, trust me. Alright, so all right, let's uh, move on to the next level.